Welcome back to What the Film School. I'm Haley, and today we're going to talk about networking. A few years back before I ever got into college, my grandma, who had actually been an actress and a playwright, pulled me aside and gave me this big secret. Now I thought that nobody else knew this, it was just between the two of us, I felt really special that she was telling me, and she said the biggest and most important thing in the film industry is to network. And back then when I was maybe about 16 when she told me that, I didn't really know what networking meant. I thought it just meant making friends with people in high places and then they'd suddenly give you a job and you'd be famous and then your work was done and that was it. But it wasn't until I got to NYU that I started to realize how important networking actually was and that also everyone knew how important networking was and it wasn't just me and my grandma. Networking is one of the top things that you will hear if you ever go to film school and if you don't, people will always say networking is a huge part of your success in this industry. Which to me always felt kind of frustrating because I always kind of wanted to do things my way, I didn't want to have to rely on people or bother people to do things for me or to get me into a high spot or to get me a job. What I want to talk to you about today specifically is not just networking and what it is really, but all the tips that I've heard from my professors on what to do to correctly network and what not to do to network with people. Networking should not be something that you have to feel like you're forcing or that it's unnatural or that it's the only way to get to where you want to be in life. So let's get started with some of my networking tips. I don't know about you guys, but I have always had a hard time talking to people right away. If I don't know them, I get very shy. I was afraid I'd walk up to someone, say, hey, how are you? And they'd say, hey, good, how are you? And then that's it. And I thought it would just be dead silence. And I was so freaked out that after that, I would never know what to say. Here is the tip number one for networking. If you are shy or afraid to talk to someone and you don't know where to start, Asking a question about them is the most important because people love to talk about themselves. Trust me. Rarely will you find someone who does not like to talk about themselves. If the other person is shy and you're shy, it's probably not going to happen. But if you ask them immediately something about them or their career, they will just keep talking. And then all you have to do is listen. Networking and talking to someone during a networking event does not have to feel like a business transaction. And here's tip number two that I've actually heard from a professor. Networking is not about getting a job. Networking is pretty much just making friends. You're formally making friends with someone. You're going to keep their name and number in an address book. You probably don't even have an address book because nobody does these days, but you're going to keep their contact info. And if there's something down the line that you see that they've done or something that you're interested in asking them about, then that is when you contact them and you keep a good relationship. So networking is about making professional friends. So this is tip number three. When you're talking to someone during the event and you're running out of time, you don't really want to spend too much time. I'd say maybe two to five minutes tops, you ask them for their business card. You say, I really like talking to you. I want to hear more about you. Can I email you? Probably nine out of 10 times they will say yes. If they say no, then they're not somebody that you want to have in your network. Now moving on to tip four is when to contact this person you have networked with. When you're emailing someone back, say that you met them on a Friday night at a networking event, you don't want to email them the next day. It, especially if it's going to be the weekend, they're not going to get back to you. Like they're doing their own thing. Wait at least three to five to seven days to get back. If it's three days later, you know, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Five days, still good. You're in the clear. Seven days, you're pushing it. You seven days, I'd say max. If you met someone on a Friday night, email them within a week or less, preferably on a business day because that's when they'll be checking their emails most. If you are hoping to network and you'll want to meet with someone that is very casual to say, let's go get coffee because most people drink it and most people will go to a coffee shop with you if they have the time and it doesn't have to take two hours to go get dinner, sit down, order a meal. No, you're just getting a drink, sitting down and chatting. That's the tip. Ask them to get coffee with you. Now you may think that, oh, I can only network when I'm in film school because that's where I'll get access to people who are in the business, yada, yada. That's not true. Even though I'm in a big city, yes, there are more networking events available, but that doesn't mean where you are, there aren't. You kind of have to dig deep and find where they're happening. You don't have to force yourself to network with people in high up places. It can be anyone. You can network with local film people. You never know what's in your area, right? So maybe you'll find a Facebook group of local, you know, since I'm a woman in film, I've found a lot of Facebook groups for specifically women in film, female filmmakers, and I connect with those. And if they have a networking event, I see at a just small bar or a cafe, maybe I'll go to that. And that's one way to just make more friends and make friends and network with people who are interested in the same things you are. So networking, final tip, it happens everywhere, all the time. Networking is just 
talking to people, making friends, finding common interests with those people, and hoping that it is a mutually beneficial relationship. So you help them and they help you. And that's the best thing about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips about networking yourself, share them below in the comments, share them with me, do all that stuff. Be sure to check out Twitter and other social media things. I'll link all of that below. And also when you subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get post notifications. So whenever I upload a video, you will be emailed about that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys again soon.